Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel! Today it's another Tales of 69 Mid Speed Paint. This is day 5. The theme was Martial Artists and I was actually pretty proud of how this piece turned out. Since it was just day 5, I wasn't really fully used to drawing in just 69 minutes or 1 hour in 9 minutes. So I was very nervous and worried that I wouldn't be able to finish the entire figure and I would have to overtime a lot just to complete the picture. I think I did overtime for like a minute or two, but that was just to finish the background and clean up the lines a little bit. But other than that, I think I did really well. So we are joining Fire Orsted from Tears of Eternia. And this is a bit of a back-to-back -back Eternia character for those two days. Since the theme that came before this was the for this royalty, I drew Raph from also Eternia. And the line of thinking carried over that I wanted to draw someone that isn't the first character you would think of when you hear martial artist and Tails. Since Tails has a good number of martial artists in the character roster, so I wanted to draw someone that came from the older games. Because there are a lot, especially in the- well not really, but there are a lot in the more recent games like Celia and Celia 2 has um, Jude, Math Jude Mathis, the one of the protagonists at least. So he got a lot of fan art. Um, plus, there's a martial artist. I'm trying to think who used their hands and feet primarily for fighting. There are quite a bit. I just can't think of them right now. So I wanted to draw Fire since she does use her hands and legs in combat, which is a little bit poked fun at in the game itself, actually. She has quite the physical strength. So Faria is the childhood friend of the protagonist and the other one in the trio. So she is known for her physical strength. She, li she and the main protagonist actually lives in a rural farming area, so she does a lot of field work and the like. I'm actually pretty fond of her design. It's very... I don't know why. It's very bright and vibrant and it's actually pretty... I feel it's pretty well put together. It's... Um, not very in your face and a martial artist tough girl outfit, but it's not overly sweet that you'd think the character's sweet. So I, I, I really like her character design and her hair skate, short hair. Admittedly, the post is a little awkward. If I do this now, I felt like I would be able to do this pose that would look a little bit more believable that she's mid-fight. That was the th that was the feel I was going for. Like she was um, in the defensive position and was thrown back a few meters, so she had ended up on her knees and in defensive stance. But um, it's awkward. <laughs> it looks very awkward.
also say that despite the shadows being very blended out as that was my style when I first when I drew this, um, I'm actually pretty pleased with how it turned out. Um, I really like how the folds were done and the shadows. It's actually pretty nicely contrasted against the base color. It's not a doubt for sure. And it could use a little bit more definition, but I kinda like it. I'm actually still proud of myself. <laughs> I was getting a bit more confident also with the time here. Since this was day 5, I was starting to get a bit more grasp into what kind of workflow I need to do in order to completely finish the picture. And I found that um, doing solid and connected lines actually did make my life easier. And it actually helped me later on since even in my normal drawing process, my lines actually became a little bit more confident. I can say I didn't control Z or undo as much and uh, they're not really as sketchy as before. So I'm really surprised how much that challenge, how much these kinds of challenges actually help me optimize my workflow and make things easier on myself. Like it's not even about the speed usually. I mean, for this challenge it is, but in my normal work process, I actually draw quite fast according to my friends. And I guess because I'm impatient. But the speed really wasn't something I completely aimed for. I just happened to finish things quickly. Sometimes at the cost of quality and detail, which is what I'm trying to mend now. But there was a lot of things that I used to do that honestly was a waste of time. Like for example, I would do like those lines and if you saw the Raph Royalty Speed Paint the day 4, the one before this, uh, the lines are very sketchy and they're not close at all and it actually made it harder for me to color it in because I would have to go over the lines with the color just to be able to fill it in and somewhere along the way I found that I found a way to make drawing the lines a lot faster and a lot more precise, I think. So to contrast her very bright outfit, I chose a more softer, lighter, pastel -y background, which is a little bit weird since I was going for an action pose. Also, we are now near the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe like or even subscribe. I do a lot of fan art and character designing on this channel. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt, and see you around.